Hey guys, good morning and welcome to Epcot. Today is the actual, the first day of uh, the 2018 Food and Wine Festival. As you can see behind us, we're starting out at the Festival Center. We made ourselves a little a itinerary plan. for our first trip here today. We're gonna uh, go to different stops. This is not our only trip, so we're gonna hit the other stops next time we're here. Hi! I know, right? Action over here. What's up, dude? I'm missing out, what's going on? We are, uh, you know, just seeing what's going on here. Right. The first Hi. day. What are you excited for? I, I was excited for the Beijing strawberries, but they're no longer no, here. I it's saw that very, nowhere. Very on... heartbreaking. It broke my heart today. Swine Brian is the next closest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't so, that like the most hated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing? So a lot of people hate it. Very but controversial. It's bourbon, right? Meat juice. What? Garnished yes. with meat. Oh, and apple juice. There's apple yep. juice oh, in there. Oh, of somewhere. course. Literally, just like you know, like when you cook pork and you have that juice, yeah. they pour that in there. And then pour a little bit of apple juice. So it's got all your food groups. Yeah. Nice seeing you guys. Nice all right, man. Too. We'll see you around. Take care, buddy. Enjoy today. Anyways, Anyways, that was yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going in there and we're going to just uh, check it out. Check it out. All right, let's, let's roll. Go. We have made it into the festival center. You can see that classic design of the old, old stuff that used to have in here. But anyways, we're going to check it out and see what's going on in here. Let's go this way first. All right, so inside the festival center, here's a little overview of where we're at which is right by the entrance over here. But uh, here you can kind of see everything that's in there. Or in here. So where are we going first? Around. So, let's see what we can find. Our first up on the right is gonna be our Shimmering Sips. That's gonna be your mom mimosa bar. It's gonna be quite popular with the ladies, I'm sure. And as we walk around, next one up, we have our craft drafts. So you can get your beer flights and and other craft specialties. No craft mac and cheese, I noticed. Here, they got this set up uh, to where, you know, they're gonna have some demonstrations, probably some celebrity chefs and whatnot, showing you how to make some stuff. Past the demonstration area, the next one up is gonna be from the Bean to the Bar, which is by Ghirardelli. You can get some good chocolate stuff in there. And then right across from it is this sign right here, this is where you're gonna get your pass holder magnets. And as we continue around, uh, this is where all the merchandise is. Call that the stockpot shop, right here. Get all your goodies. And we've got ourselves in line for our magnet. This guy's showing off some of the merch you can get here. Looks good, look at those pass holder shoes. All right, so here we go, we got our magnets. All right, these are really cool. Got a little chef hat on Mickey, like Chef Mickey's. Yeah, we got ours, so. and we got one for JR, even though he's not with us. Yep. So we went ahead and got his. They do check your ID for your pass holder when you get this. Oh, yeah. We had a couple behind us that didn't understand why they need to check their ID. But just so you know, ID check. So now we are at the Disney Family of Wines place. We're going to get something from right here. Here is what we are getting. The La Bottega de Belgio Yoso cheese plate for $5.50. With our cheese plate that we got, we also got our festival passport. This is very important for keeping track of everything that you, you've got and what you want to get. It's got stickers so you can mark off uh, in here what you got, so that's pretty cool. All right, keep moving. This is our cheese plate. This is the something cheese plate. Cheese I at can't. the festival yeah. center shop. Well, look, it's got some. Uh, it's got grapes. It's got some of that cheese. It's got some olives. Some of that cheese. It's got some of that chutney stuff. Oh, yeah. Mmm, that is rich. It's like crunchy. I don't think it's crunchy. Really I'm, rich. Well, then maybe mine had dirt on it. Take a bite of that. It tastes good. It's kind of like a softer cheese, like a brie kind of sort of. It might be a brie. This is this is a good start. Mm, okay. Well, cheese. for me, I would say this is. Uh, no, I'm saying I was saying mm, to that cheese we just ate. That one, I'm not a fan of. I like that soft cheese, that soft brie type cheese. It's good. Good start, cheese. For me, it's a good one. Yep. For her, I think it's just kind of meh. All right. I give it a big thumbs next. up. All right, so that was yummy. Woo, so nice. next up, Hawaii. Oh. All right, and of course here we are, Hawaii. Here's the menu. Looking at everything here, we got these classic Kahlua pork sliders that everybody loves. The grilled tuna tataki, that looks pretty awesome. This teriyaki glaze spam hash, I think that's what we're gonna go with. Oh, and we're doing some drinks. A drink, we're gonna share it. 
because uh, we got a ways to go. From the main walkway, this is the first booth off to the right. Boy, our food is coming right up. Here's the Spam hash. It had all other sorts of stuff on it, but it looks really good. Some green onions on there. And then that's the Mai Tai with Sailor Jerry in it and Dole pineapple juice. Here's a bite of this Spam hash. Spam Spamtastic. Spamtastic. Really good. That's good? Yep. All right. What are you drinking? Well, I guess I'm not having that. It's kind of strong. Be careful. I know these are small, but the idea is you get to try a whole bunch of different things. That's why these are tiny. On our way in, we forgot to show you guys, we stopped and grabbed one of these. It's a gift card. And you can put it on your wrist, but I'm just going to keep it in my purse. And it's easy to pull out instead of having to use your card or pull out cash and count. It makes everything easier. And it's cute. And here we've got the back side of Barbecue Mickey, but we're heading over to Islands of the Caribbean right here. We're gonna get in line. Thankfully, it's in the shade for now. All right, here we are at the Islands of the Caribbean. Here's all their things they have. They get an empanada, chicken lollipop, and a quesito. I think we're doing the quesito, but we're up. Here we've got some of the other food that they're preparing, the empanadas and the lollipop, but uh, we got a sangria and a quesito. I didn't think we were getting a drink, but we got we got one. Hmm, get a and come over here and eat. Here's our quesito. Got some uh, sauce on it and stuff, so that looks pretty good. And then here's our sangria that we got. It's time for these to disappear. I didn't get a fork originally, but James grabbed a fork, but I think I'm just gonna pick it up. Okay. Hot pocket. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in. That's a keeper. Like, not too sweet, like, and not bitter. It smells like something. It's good, it's light, actually. Boom. And don't forget, pretty much everywhere you sit, there's a trash can, oh, so close to you. Everywhere, they're all over the place. Just, oh, look it up, goes right in there. Next up. Mmm, Mexico. So apparently we're gonna do Greece first because it comes up before Mexico. Here's where we're at. What are we doing? We're doing the Greece. taste. The taste of Greece. Yeah, no drinks here. No drinks, but we are gonna taste the Grease. Hi! What's your food and wine, Grease? I'm Takara. Try to spot a copeta and then lanchos. Really good. We didn't choose either of we those. We went to Taste of Grease. Oh, <laughs> Taste of Grease is really good. I like the little pita with the, um, the sauce. Trying to make it by. It's like it's like frog. She can do it. She can do it. Nope, she's not gonna do it. She's too, she's too scared. She's just gotta do it. She's just gotta do it. Oh boy, she almost did not survive. But here's our food. These are the foods that we got from Greece. This is the, the taste of Greece. This is what we've got. So we've got the lamb sausage here. I think that's that. And that is another another thing that was on there. <laughs> and this is one of the other things. Flavors. Let's eat this. Whoa, it's really good. It's like it's cold, sour, but not sour, but not bitter. It's surprise a surprising taste. Here you can try. I'm gonna give this thing a shot. This is the uh, the one thing that we had. That's what it is. Is the feta? If you like feta cheese, you'll like this thing. Are you gonna eat more of this? Okay. Thank you. Hmm. She's going into the lamb. I guess I'll just do this. Mm. I'm thinking that Greece is a success. It's yeah. definitely a big thumbs up for Greece it's so really far. Savory. All right. Am I gonna try this? The whole thing. Oh, okay. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. The little spice yeah. sausage. Look out that way. It looks like it's maybe rain. we don't want it to rain, but it looks like it looks like rain. Is this the lamb? No, I thought the I lamb, mean, the sausage thing. Dang, woman. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Tastes like chicken, all right. That's yummy, too. But the feta thing, really the feta was my favorite. We're doing Mexico, for real, Mexico. 
Here we go. We've made it into Mexico and we are getting, I don't actually know if we're getting food. I think we just came here for the drinks. We're gonna go for the mariachi loco and the icaramba, one each, but I think we're just gonna go with one of them. I think it's the icaramba. Let's find out. No. Thank you. All right, so we're getting shrimp quesadilla and the icaramba. It's gonna be all right. All right, so we just got our food from Mexico, which was the quesadilla? The shrimp quesadilla. Shrimp quesadilla and an icaramba margarita. There's our food down here, a little bit right, right there, right there. That sky is looking ominous and getting closer every second, but she's going in for the margarita and spilling it everywhere. All right, so this is supposed to have some spicy, smoky flavors. What is around the rim? Some kind of... Looks like beach sand. That's really yep. good. That thing is really good. All right, I think I'm All just right. gonna pick this up. Yep, pick it up and go in. Don't forget the sauce. Yeah, get a little bit of that sauce on there. It's good. It's on a corn tortilla, and I don't like corn tortillas. Uh-oh. It's good, but it's a it's a shrimp and cheese quesadilla. Yeah. But the drink makes up, makes up for it for some excitement. Maybe if we tried something a little more adventurous, it might be more fun. But, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. It looks cool, um, and it tastes good. The margarita makes up for it as far as the adventurous part of it. Cheers. Next up, we're going to go all the way around the world, pretty much, to Germany. Hopefully, before this hits. Short bathroom break in Norway. We're heading to Germany. on down to Germany. Going past Norway, past China, past the African outpost. Look at that sky. It does feel good though. I'm gonna believe it's not gonna yep, rain. It's not gonna rain. We're just gonna believe it's not gonna rain. It's just cooling off for us. Yeah. All right, China. You do look magnificent, but not today. Save that for next time. Almost to Germany now. All right, so we're stopping here at the Brewers Collection to pick up something. Rata burger? A Rata burger. Pilsner, unfiltered. Gonna get that thing. Okay, it's starting to rain, so we're gonna have to duck into Germany, but it's okay because I have this. I have this beer, so I'm gonna eat this. Or no, drink this. <laughs> I don't chew this up. It's pre chewed. It feels like we were just here. Mm, there we go. And it looks like we just made it inside before the rain. Alright, so there was the rain. Looks like it may have stopped now. This is called a pure cider, the rose one. I've had this before, so I'm getting it again because it's really good. And it's easy to drink. Here Maybe we are. some wines over here. All right. Good beers. Absolutely. Whatever you like to know. Okay, well, well let's start with that. This, wine, um, this one says, there is truth inside the wine. It's an old saying, even back in Germany, when they talk about like alcohol, it makes you like saying the truth. Of course. And yeah, even truth like, serum. Yes. This one we used to make like uh, the wine off. So oh. we put all the grapes inside there and wine them. Squeeze it down. Yeah, squeeze. And then we have the good stuff. We have the awesome beer. Uh, this one is unfortunately just decoration. Yes, yeah, so that's okay. <laughs> uh, we have a huge amount of alcohol, uh, especially yeah. in our like restaurants. We have a beer garden there, mm -hmm. and inside the beer garden, right. it's typically that you can bring your own um, food, but you always go for the beverage. It was like kind of a meeting point. Oh yeah, I have my bread with me, and then we just meet start. me at the beer garden. Yes, meet there me at the you beer go. Yes, okay, that's cool. Perfect. I like it. <laughs> nice little educational lesson of things from the. Bar here. We're coming outside because it had stopped raining, but yeah, still sprinkling a little bit. Heading over to Spain. Gonna go to Spain. All right, we made it to Spain. We are gonna get the charcuterie and a cone. We also have some paella, seafood salad. Can, oh, can you see that? Oh, it disappeared. Just saw the Loch Ness of Reflections Lake. Thank you so much. Oh, you don't eat the cone. Duh. I thought it was like a waffle cone, like an ice cream. <laughs> the charcuterie in a cone. It looks fabulous. Uh, but keep in mind, the cone is inedible. It is not the waffle cone. It is merely the vessel. The vessel for the soul. The soul in which you will consume ma. Tastes like what you would think meat and cheese would taste like. It's basically just meat and cheese? Mm hmm It's good, but it's a little dry. Yeah. It's a little dry. It needs something. 
All right. Just the meats. That one. Meats are good. Made it better. Yeah. Try a olive. Olive's good. I think it's the cheese. Cheese makes cheese it a little. Like. Cheese is gonna make it a little dry. So there's a little spice. Mm -hmm. a touch of spice. So make sure and have a drink handy. Wash it down. I have a drink. She's got a drink. I finished mine already. Dang it. Let's get another one. Where are we going now? Morocco. Morocco. All right. Going to Morocco. Kefta pocket and sangria. Here we come. Here's what we got from Morocco. We got the kefta pocket and we got the sangria. The survey says yum for the sangria. Let me... Pinky's up. Uh, that's pretty good. Kefta pocket going in for the kill. Thumbs up on the kefta pocket. Let me make sure that everything is accurate as far as the answers. Hmm. Pretty good. Yep, that's pretty good. And then wash it down with a little bit of, of this sangria. That's a good combo. That's what I suggest. Get the kefta pocket and then get the sangria. It balances each other out pretty good. It's not too sweet, right? Yep. What are you talking about? The, <laughs> but the flavors are very... Airy? Airy. No, huh. not airy. They're not heavy. They're not airy. It's not greasy. It's, very, it's kind of light. It's like a light beef. Beef light. It's beef light. Is that beef? Beef light. While Jessica's uh, finishing that up, I'll talk about the weather a little bit. It just rained a little bit. We knew it was coming. We saw it coming. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's a cool shot right there. Maybe that's the thumbnail? Is that the thumbnail? Nah, we'll do something with food for the thumbnail. You can see some nice views of Mexico over there, Norway, China, it's, uh, America, and then Japan, helicopters, Morocco, Guardians of the Galaxy, Spaceship Earth. We're going to uh, keep going. Look at, look at, just look at Jessica. She is trying to ignore me. She thinks I can't see her. If I stay still, no, nope. if she stays still, she thinks I can't see her. We're over here at France, and they've got the Francois stunt show. He's gonna do some sweet stunts, maybe. Right now, just he's just standing up there. So I guess that's more than I would do. That's cool. Can you get Rainbow Lily and the Martini Slush, please? Yep. Do you need something else? That is it. It's gonna be fifteen dollars. Looks pretty good. It got the. Oh yeah, you hear that? That's how you know it's good. See there, Aurora. That's how you get Aurora to show up. You have to tap on creme brulee, and then magically, Aurora shows up. Yummy. It has the yummy flavor. Yeah, it's got passion fruit and cranberry juice in it, and then some Grey Goose Citron Vodka in vodka. That's yummy. Yeah, that's mine. That's, <laughs> that's pretty good. It's very fruity. Uh, it's not super strong feeling. If you don't like strong things, that's a pretty good one. Whoa. Oh, you missed it. I'm sorry. Oh, we missed it. Here, redo. Oh, there ah, we go. We missed the crunch. Whoa, what's all this? Oh, man, look at that. Mm. Good. This is so much sugar right now, all of this. Wow, that's a good creme brulee. The top is all sugar, so the top's really sweet. But inside, it's actually not too bad. This is actually a lot that's, sweeter. That, no, that's not yours. That was strictly for scientific research. Oh, that sun is back out in full force. No! <laughs> Santa! <laughs> All right, France. That was fun, but now it's time for the UK. What are we going to do? I know what we're going to do. We're going to do the Guinness Bailey Shake. Let's do it! <clears throat> All right, let's go, go try this thing out. I don't know if she's gonna try this because she's not a fan of Guinness or anything beer-esque beer at all. But it doesn't all. smell like beer, so I'm gonna try it. Yeah, it's probably more like coffee and chocolate than beer. It comes in this cool Ireland glass. I think it's gonna be pretty all right. Mmm. Is it good? That's really, oh man. Am I gonna like it? I think so. That is delicious. Oh dang. <laughs> That's really good. That might be my number one. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is. That's my number one. That is a huge, big double thumbs up. Double boop 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 boop. That's really good.
That is really good. That's probably the best thing I've had. Alright guys, for real, this is the best thing we've had so far. Yes. It's Ireland Bailey's Guinness Bailey's Shake. This thing is amazing. I mean, I like beer. You're um, talking too much. She does not like beer and any way, shape, or form, doesn't like the smell of it, taste of it, anything. This she is all in on this one. But it doesn't all taste like there's in. no taste like there's no hint of beer, period. Yum. Thank you, Ireland. Thank you so much. Which one is it going to be? I think we're going to get the baked shrimp scampi dip. Okay, guys, we just um, went Coastal to Eats. Coastal Eats, and that was where I thought that was in the festival center when we first got here. It wasn't, so we skipped it. But I, we just found it, so we got the shrimp scampi dip. Got some toast, little toast things. This is really good. All right, is that really good? Mm -hmm. All right, let's taco about it. it. Tastes like shrimp and cheese. What are you eating? Um, just eating this lovely air. It's. Delicious. I have pieces of it. You can't see it. It's really tiny, but mmm, it's so good. It's invisible though. That actually, actually, that actually smells good. Ooh, I smell. I smell smoke, like smokiness. Oh, there's something over there happening. Mmm. Tastes like seafood. Mmm. Feels really good right here. Yeah. A little bit of AC coming out of the light lab, but we're still outside. So here's where we're at. Along in this area, we got. Imagination that way. Light lab right here. Got the monorail going across right there. Wait, missed it. There it is. Yeah, you missed it. Y'all, I think I'm full. Oh no, that means I have to eat some. Next up, flavors from fire. I knew I smelled smoke. We're actually gonna get the swine brine because, uh, ah. I don't know, it's different? It's different. So we'll see what that's all about. It's supposed to have bourbon and meat juice in it, whatever that means. Thank you. Can I get another Zinfandel and a swine brine? Yeah. I don't even know what I'm getting into. <laughs> Yeah, that is so weird looking. Yeah, very unique. Yes. Wow. I'm not sure what to think of this. It's kind of like the opposite of a Bloody Mary. We have the swine brine and... Seven Deadly Sins Zinfandel. Seven Deadly Sins Zinfandel. Seven Deadly Zins with a Z. Zinfandel. Alright, so apparently in the swine brine is, of course, your bourbon and meat juice. I don't know what that means. Alright, so it's just swine brine featuring Jim Beam bourbon. Ah, uh, well, here we go. So here we go, we're gonna try these out. I don't know what we're trying first. I don't even. We'll try the swine brine first. Just a meat drink. Here we go. Oops, I just. She's gonna go first. What do you it's think? Good. It's good? Yeah. Let me try it. It's good. It's it actually, actually good. tastes good. It's definitely different than what I thought it was going to be like. Yeah. I was thinking it was going to be like drinking the... Grease. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like drinking grease, but it's not. Seven Zen Deadly Zins Zinfandel. Zinfandel. The girl at the kiosk, when we were paying for it, we asked her to describe it, and it was like... She gave us like ten description, yeah, ten descriptive two, things. Yeah. So, not seven, so... So I decided to get it because it sounded really good. Yeah. Maybe three of them were deadly. Just seven deadly ones. Three okay ones. Pretty good? It's pretty good. Let's see what this is like. That's pretty good. It's a little bit dry. I don't know what Zinfandel's are usually like, but it's a little a little bit dry, but still a little fruity. Not really sweet or anything yeah. like that. But it's, it's actually, it's actually like pretty that. good. How do you alright, what do you do with this thing? Alright, so we're gonna Oh boy. Good job. Alright, oh, all right, so we're gonna dip into this uh, the meat part here. Take this uh, sword out.
Oh, good. Is it good? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The meat is slightly dry. Dry. But. But it's a good flavor it's with it. It's a good it. flavor. And mm -hmm. do you see how it fell off the bone? Mm. It's very tender, but a little dry. This, um, I'm sure this will make up for it. And help wash it down. I like the swine brine. It's yummy. Ooh, let's go into the light lab inside with this. Hey guys, with this air conditioning. Ooh, la la. All right, so. Ooh. Oh, there's some stuff there. All right, so we're not gonna go into the light lab just yet. We're gonna be here in another couple of weeks where we'll go in there, we'll check it out, and see what kind of you know cool treats we can have. For now, we're gonna head back outside. We've enjoyed the AC enough, so it's time to head back out into the humidity and heat of Florida. So full, guys. Too much full. Here we are against the old... Legacy. Legacy. Got that legacy. Leave a legacy. Leaving well. that legacy. We're leaving a legacy right now. That's enough for today. We are done. That is we actually, stage one. We actually didn't eat everything we and drink everything like we made on our list. We, we didn't, didn't make think it through. It would, yeah, we made it all the way around. But just but not we all just the way through our list. Anyways, we're, we'll be back in a couple weeks and hopefully we'll hit stage what two. We, yeah. This is just get. stage one. Complete. Stage one complete. It is still so hot Stage here, two guys. We'll be up next in a couple of weeks after we recover yeah. from this one. So. It is very hot. Even though the sun isn't shining too much right now, you can see uh, it's just a little overcast. There's a lot of new stuff that we haven't tried before that we tried this monorail. time. Monorail. Uh, there goes the monorail. Leave us a comment down below what you thought of today and tell us what your favorite thing you want to try is. Subscribe if you'd like to, if you want to see some more. If you want to stay up to date, hit that subscribe button. Maybe even hit that notification bell. Whenever we do a new one, you'll get a little notification yes. telling you that we're ready to show you some epic magic. But anyways, hit that like button. Do all the things. We can't handle any more. I'm done. As far as we're concerned, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. cool.